Alan Terrell, the state Supreme Court upholds the Protect Illinois Communities Act banning assault weapons. The high court found that the ban does not violate constitutional rights. Governor J.B. Pritzker signed the ban earlier this month, earlier this year, rather months after a shooter used a high profile rifle shooting into a crowd gathered in Highland Park for a 4th of July parade. Seven people died, dozens more were injured. The law bans dozens of specific types of rifles and handguns, 50 caliber guns, attachments, rapid firing devices. No rifle is allowed to accommodate more than 10 rounds with a 15 round limit for handguns. This morning we're hearing from people on both sides of the issue. This bill was written with constitutionality in mind. It was based on bills in other states where the, the same ban has been upheld. And so I'm just grateful for the uh, Illinois Supreme Court um, following along with precedent and doing the right thing. When you have a, a Supreme Court where the last two justices that were elected uh, benefited greatly from uh, political contributions uh, from the governor, uh, it's really hard to be realistic. That new law set off a firestorm of critics from gun rights advocates. In fact, it was quickly challenged. A lawsuit was filed by Representative Dan Calkins, as you saw there, from Decatur, stating the law violated the Second Amendment. Some law enforcement members even signed a statement saying they would not enforce the law. The case eventually made its way to the Illinois Supreme Court. Those supporting the law are celebrating today's ruling. We do expect to hear from both sides of the aisle today, all day today. And we'll have more on that coming up on our afternoon shows. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.